Hi, this is Dave for Get Your Rock Out at the HRH3 Prog Festival, and I'm delighted to speak to be speaking to the guys from Life Signs this evening. Guys, how are you doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Very happy. So. Saw you play a, a, a fantastic set earlier on. Um, how do you think it went? Uh, yeah, from well, we just enjoyed ourselves. We always do. So it's, that's kind of how we work, isn't it? It's, as a team, and we just have a great time. So. I hope everyone else enjoys it too. It certainly sounded like it. It sounded, you know, it sounded like the uh, reception was was amazing. You seem to have built up a, a really strong following in, in a relatively short space of time. What do you what do you put that down to? Um, I don't know. I think it's, it's our bass player's natural charm and charisma. Yeah. Dancing moves, yeah. possibly. <laughs> yeah. On stage. <laughs> Didn't uh, see too many of those, I have to well say. Well, we're trying to get people to dance. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's, it's the fog, probably. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I think the, the music's hit the kind of... I mean, we, we're, we're quite melodic, but we're quite strong. And I think all the guys are amazing players. So, um, And there's a great chemistry on stage. So maybe that, you know, the audience pick up on that and, mm. and you know, the whole thing moves on from there. So, yeah, yeah all good. OK. Um, and in terms of the... Um, DVD that you've got coming out fairly soon, is that right? Um, well, yeah, we, we hope in a few months' time we'll, the, the DVD will be happening. We, we crowdfunded that, and it's, uh, it's gone really well. Mm. Um, and so we did a shoot down at Under the Bridge. It was in January. In January, yeah. yeah. So mm. literally, well, maybe like six, seven weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people flew in from around the world and stuff, so over two nights. So, yeah, it was good. It was, it was our first experience of doing that, and it, it worked really well, so. Maybe the future. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, and in terms of the the album, the album's been out what two two years now? Two years in February. I think it yeah. Was, yeah. And how are you feeling about that music now, two years on? Well, to be honest, it's eight years on. So it's, you know, and that's when we <laughs> first started. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and we always loved it, and we always listened to it over and over again. Me, Stephen, Frosty, um, you know, and Nick Beggs originally. Mm. Um, you know, it was something that was was always on the turntable, so to speak. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's just we felt it had something, and it's lovely to see that that's been sort of around, as you look around the world, people have felt the same. You know, mm. So that's a great feeling. And of course, although it's been two years, are we are we talking now about getting some ideas together and uh, about another album? Of course, I mean uh, we have been uh, exchanging ideas. Uh, we have been a couple of times in a rehearsal studio, kind of in the studio, just um, you know putting some sketches down. I think it's sounding really great. Um, yeah, it's, it's um, getting there. I mean, we, we need to take it a stage further and we concentrate on the DVD first really sure. to get that done. And that's got some of the new tracks on it, which will obviously go on the next album. But I think, you know, the writing process and what everybody... Because, uh, you know, initially it was just a studio project mm. and we had guests on and other bits and pieces. Because now it's a band. Mm. We've been a band for mm. over a year. Mm. And we just, you know, it'd be, it's going to be so much fun seeing what everybody else does, you know, so. Well, really even, even the existing material sounds like the record, but but also very different in mm. a way. It has know? an edge. So, uh, these, these guys have brought an amazing uh, edge to it. So. Have you have, have you allowed them to do that, or has that just happened organically? Oh, they, they do what they want. You know, yeah. how, can, how can you not let them? You know, yeah. it's just you know, <laughs> it's good and it's good fun. It's great. Fun. It's great fun. <laughs> uh, it's such a chemistry with everyone. It's yes. just, you know, it's really good. And you did uh, Cruise to the Edge last year, mm -hmm. and you're doing it again this yeah, year, was, I believe. It was yeah, like our third or fourth gig, wasn't it, the first time round? It so was, yeah. You know, in fact, the first gigs were, in fact, like a warm up to to the cruise, cruise yeah. yeah, which was an amazing experience. And uh, next one, 2015 in November. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a very different band, so it's you know we were we were new to each other, we were new to the experience of you know I mean going to the states and doing your third or fourth gig was kind of really. Mm. Huge, you know. But uh, this time around, I think it's they're going to see some changes. You know, see the way it works. So, yeah. And um, just just in in in, in terms of um, what what happens next, you've got quite a few dates lined up for the year, but they're quite sporadic, aren't they? Does that does that well, frustrate you? Or? I mean, to an extent, there's not much you can do when you're new on the block, which yeah. we are. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're we're not we we have an agent, very some people, but you know, gradually things are arriving. Um, and you have to take what you can, but then there'll come a time. We're already looking in December that there's a kind of tour going in, mm. you know. So that, that that will probably be our first time of actually going out on a regular. And also, there are quite a few things. I mean, we're still working on the on the editing for the live DVD, both the video cuts and the audio mixes, and then we need to master it. We need to manufacture it, release it work on the demos for the new record. So all of that falls in between the 
the gigs that we have lined up. So um, it's not that we're not busy, we are. Mm. And the beauty of it as well has also been with the audiences, um, with the gigs. I mean, we're not necessarily doing anything new just yet, apart from the new songs that we brought, you know, fairly original. And it, people just keep coming back coming back to see how the band transpires mm. over time, mm. you know, and we've noticed how that's changed. Yeah. And it's it's so wonderful that people are, you know, come to six, seven, eight gigs, and then we've got one friend who's come to 26 gigs, I think it is. 27, 27 yes, yeah. yeah. So it's, From my perspective, I think it, uh, partly because how we play the music, although we're very faithful to the recording, there is a, uh, a lot of on-the-spot improvisation, if you like, you know, um, playing around the parts, and that creates a different atmosphere. But people seem to perceive it in a as if in a different way mm -hmm. every at every yeah. gig. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, that, that that's probably another reason mm -hmm. why they want to actually come and see yet another gig. Mm. Uh, we, you know, we couldn't buy that, so it's fantastic, no, no, you know. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> and uh, and it seems to be that you know that's word is starting. To, we were talking before about we've been working with uh, GigPledge.com to start getting people pledging yeah. gigs yeah. around the world, and you know so hopefully we'll at some point get to the states because obviously you've got all the problems with visas and other bits and pieces, mm -hmm. and cruise to the edge kind of gets around that one. But right. you know it would be nice to get to mainland America and, and do do what we do. You know. Has some, there been sorry some proper shows? Yeah. 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 Has there been um, a, a lot of interest from America now? Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's probably one of our main markets. Really, so, yeah. Yeah. So. It, it's funny, something that, that seemed so English at one point is now just gone completely global, hasn't it? Maybe because of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I do think that, you know, Stephen Wilson said to us, because obviously Nico used to play with Stephen, and uh, Stephen said to us very early on when we were making the album that he thought it was classic prog. In, in you know, in terms of like Yes and Genesis and all those mm, sort of the, things, the legacy bands comparison. Um, so we feel that that kind of hits home with the American market, yeah. you know, and, and markets yeah. around the world. Yeah. So you know, hopefully that will be a good thing. And, you know, we, we have our own sound and we, we like that. And in terms of this festival, are you? Um, do you have any more uh, plans that you're going to check out any other bands or anything like that? Oh, for sure, yeah. But Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it after yeah. we've had... After we've had some food. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't detain you too much, uh, too much, too much more. So just in terms of the, of the, of the near future, is, is concentrating on the DVD and getting those live shows under your belt as well? Yeah, we have Marillion this weekend as well, so we're off to Holland uh, on tomorrow. And um, then we're back in Holland two weeks' time. Uh, I've got a show in Belgium. We've just been talking something about doing Lithuania or Poland, you know. So there's all this stuff starting to come in, and it's it's great fun. It's really exciting. Because the guys from the guys from the skies, I know that rhymes, but the guys from the skies said that they, they you know they're friends of yours and wanted oh, to wait to yeah, wait yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah very good friends. We we've, we've we've known Jonas and the band for for a long time. We helped them make their album, you know, and we saw that they had Jonas. I, I remember in the early days, there's a really good phrase. Um, Jonas was talking about Facebook and MySpace, and he said to me, John, he said, you, you work hard. He said, uh, so tell me, he said, on Facebook and MySpace, who does and who doesn't? And I just <laughs> thought that was such a great way of looking at the whole thing, because, you know, obviously a lot of people talk a good fight, but then you yeah. actually have to get out there yeah. and do it. You know, so. Yeah, a lot of people worry that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, just for anybody checking, you know, checking this, this video out, where, where can they sort of, you know, obtain or the DVD. Of your, well, the DVD tracks of your, your music, just have a listen. Uh, we have bits and pieces on, on YouTube, and, and obviously you can buy the, the CD uh, in most places. With the DVD, you'll be able to buy it from lifescience.me. And also, anyone wants to join us, we're on Facebook. Just come and look up Life Signs on Facebook. Come and say hi. You know, we're, we're very All the usual Twitter, yeah. Facebook. We're yeah, everywhere. You can find it. We're omnipresent <laughs> on the net. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> well, John, Nico, thank you very much. I've thank really you. enjoyed this thank interview. You. And uh, the best of luck for the, for the rest much. of the weekend. And, and we'll hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you.